Kapitan, wie nach dem Kern der Rande in den Ding gewagt wird. Hey Jung, bewerte sie positiv, sie mit dir im Zeppelin, du mit dir schön. Da, war es so. Подводный офицер, подготовьте лодку к подъему на поверхность. Связной, всем отделением торчат полную тишину, когда мы пойдем в атаку. Вперед. Братишка нервничает. Все нормально. Мы должны успеть закончить свободягу до рассвета. Москва же не хочет никаких свидетелей. Мерсье, чем где, они должны быть уничтожены. Потери надо надо уякнуть, почему ты бы не лезешь за Аргентину? За каким боем головки он был смеет и закончил? Running red. directives. gas has been enhanced to our specifications? That is correct. The kill cycle has been increased three times its original state. Mr. Mercier, you realize that the ship must leave by 0700 hours if we are to avoid alerting NATO? Yes, I do. And there won't be any problem, Major. The ship will leave right on time. Colonel Diaz. Yes, the vials are being injected and sealed as we speak.
One man with a radio brings a hundred with guns. Come on. Yeah, you look great Mama. today. Oh, sweetie, I told you to go play in the back. What's she doing here? Señor Pereira, my husband got drunk again. He was arrested last night. I had to bring her here. Now and ready to helicopter. Si, senor. I believe you have a security problem, Mr. Mercier. I've got the best guards money can buy. Forgive me if I appear skeptical. The helicopter's warming up right now. more pressing issues.
The glass is full, bulletproof, extreme deflection. Cover me! Let's go! You have the angle! I got it. It wasn't your fault, little brother. Come, I'll take you home now. No, I, I don't think so. Finish her. She's just a child. I don't care if she's your own daughter. No witnesses. I gave you an order. I said no. <laughs> All right. The explosion will probably get her anyway. Go on, go on, go. I gave you an order. Never disobey my order. We must get moving. We're over one. All homing devices are activated. Weapons are free. Repeat. Weapons are free. <laughs> Marcia got away. We did our job. We stopped them. It's over. Yes, it's over. Thank you. 
tired. Relax, thanks to you. Mm. You're welcome. <laughs> Found a man of slinky. Ah, chilled the way I like it. Hey, Dad. I've been looking for this. Give me a kiss. Mm, okay. Morning. You kids have all the fun, don't you? Well, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> hey, how about if we have a barbecue tonight? I'll go get some chicken. Hamburgers, too. There are too many hamburgers in your life, young lady. I have a budget meeting tonight. You guys know what potluck means, right? I guess it's just you and me tonight, kid. Unless potluck means hamburgers, only you, Dad. Will you do me a favor? Yeah. Will you go to the cleaners and pick up my cheerleading uniform? Honey, I know you're my biggest fan, but let's not overdo it, okay? It's for my reunion. I have a hundred bucks riding on it. Whoever can still fit in their cheerleading uniform wins. Good morning, everyone. We do have a front door, you know. Well, yeah, but this is where you keep the food. <laughs> you ready, Amanda? Thanks for dropping her off. Hey, what are neighbors for? Besides, it's my day off. Yeah, how's your new job going? Very sexy new boss. That's a little bit too much information, if you don't mind. <laughs> Where'd you get that jersey? Oh, I went out with that hockey player again last night. How'd it go? Can you say double overtime? <laughs> I know you talk about boys when you do that. Oh, are you Miss Smarty? <laughs> Come on, time for school. <laughs> High five, man. Love you. Love you, too. Love you, honey. That was my banana. Dad, Mom never picks me up this late. Yeah, but? No buts, Dad. Mom doesn't have monster measures! No way! Hey, Dad, thanks. You're welcome. Um, can we stop for a Coke? Uh, honey, you know what your mom says about that. Fathers and daughters need to have some secrets. Deal. Deal. I'll be right back. is for how long. They're resilient little bastards. You know, in your lean times, a cockroach will eat one of his own limbs to survive. Now, would you do that? I don't think so. Poor Ray. Uh, yeah. Oh, for God's sake, sir, please keep your voice down. You're scaring away my customers. Now, just get rid of them. God, I love the sound of that crunch when you pulverize one of those little fuckers. Please, sir, just do it quietly. Will that be all, sir? Yes. Sir. Uh, no, actually, do you carry Forbes magazine here? Yes, you'll find that right in the back. Oh, no. Uh -oh. Oh, uh -oh. Quietly, I'm gonna have to go out the van and get the big guns. I am gonna make a fortune on this job.
think you're doing, buddy? Don't you know it's a federal defense special with a bug buster? You better pull this van over right now! They got my daughter! Yeah! Chop Chop will give us plenty for this, baby. Yeah, it will. Ah! There's a kid back here! Shit! Get up, man! This is Bug Guy! Great, but I've got to get some food. Mm. Can I talk out of these clothes first? <laughs> Tell you what, I'll compromise. <laughs> a turkey sandwich first and the massage right after. A turkey sandwich first. Can I talk out of it? 
Lettuce and tomato on white, please. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh, come on, honey, don't turn on the TV. It's just the news. Councilman Earl Chambers is at the forefront to stop the new sports arena. We don't need a stadium built on public lands. What we need is more housing, more police, better schools, and more parks. You know, I agree with Chambers. If they're gonna get rid of the park, they should at least sell it for a lot of money. Police are still unable to identify the mysterious stranger who beat up the two hoodlums. Now, I know it's blurry, Fred, but can you run that videotape again, please? Your sandwich is done. Oh, that's service. Hey, check it out. This guy's pulling the kung fu on these guys. Hey, Greg, that guy looks like you. Lucky guy. That's our car. Sandwich? Why didn't you call the police? Why didn't you call me? Maybe I should have called you, but Amanda's okay. We don't need a bunch of police reporters descending on us. What do you think I was going to do, run down to Channel 9? Look, honey, these guys might have been in a gang. I mean, you read the newspapers. The less said, the better. Oh, Amanda's all right, and that's really all that matters. You had no right keeping this to yourself. I deserve to know. I am her mother, in case you haven't noticed. I'm sorry. I was just trying to spare you. I was wrong. Where'd you learn all that stuff, anyway? In the army. I thought you said you were a cook. I was. But with my cooking, you had to learn how to defend yourself. That's not funny. Well, it's a little funny. I'm serious, Greg. I was really scared. I'm never gonna let anything happen to you or Amanda. Come here. If you're thinking of getting on the four or five south, don't. And if you're already sitting in it, that is one person got through, through 18 pairs directions. of socks in one week. I'm sorry. Did you say something? Thanks, Bill. Police are still looking for the vigilante who made short work yesterday of a couple of car thieves in the valley. Witnesses gave differing descriptions. Enough of that. Thank you. Hello. Your tickets are ready. I'm um, sorry, I think you have the wrong number. Moscow Circus is in town. Perhaps you've forgotten, Mr. Wallace. for your reservations. I don't know what you're talking about. Remember what I told you, Gregory. Never disobey an order. Hilton Lobby, one hour, be there. I left the service 11 years ago. You never leave the service. So you're determined to use Grigori? I can't do it. You certainly can't do it. I want to keep this operation as subtle as possible. The less people who know about our history, the better. Besides, he's the best. Merci and Diaz, they, they meet this week. Relax, comrade. I'll make him an offer he can't refuse. You just keep an eye on Chambers. People are starting to listen to him. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Gregory, it's good to see you. Sit, please. 
There's no one in the world who knows you. I'm an American now, and I speak only English. I've missed you, Gregory. I'm sorry. Greg. How did you find me? Was it that, uh, that little piece on the TV? Yes, I saw you, but we always knew where you were. Excuse me, sir. Can I offer you a drink? No, thank you. Thank you. I'm in real estate now. It's uh, tough for some, but Americans, they're soft like Tootsie Rolls. We Soviets, we... Uh, we thrive on hardship. The Soviet Union is gone. Yes, but the loyalty still remains. You forget, I brought you here. If not for me, you would be rotting in some Ukrainian prison along with all those other fools who stayed behind. You knew that the, the payback would have to come one day. Well, that day is here. What is it you want? I have a problem. I am being threatened with exposure. As you say, you have a problem. If I have a problem, Gregory Ilanov, you have a problem. We did some terrible things, no? Does your wife know about your previous life? No, of course not. What do you think she would say if she knew that you were a trained killer? If we are revealed, everything changes. You know, in some ways, you have more to lose than I do. You made a beautiful family here. I envy you. Why ruin it? If you cooperate, I promise you, I will call my friends in Moscow. They will erase your combat file. The Gregory Ilanov I know will cease to exist. What exactly do you want me to do? Cheer up. There is something in it for you, too. I think you remember this man. You should. He killed your brother. Sturkin has already done the prep work for you. He's still my aide. I'm here only for Messier. Sit down, please. Uh, give him the file. This is the current information on Mercier. And this one is for Diaz. Messier stooge? He moved up in this world. He now handles all Mercier's arms deals. What about Messier? Moved into drugs. Mercier has a criminal indictment pending. He's looking to make a deal. He's trying to peddle information on me. What exactly do you want me to do about it? What you do so well. Kill him. That's not me anymore. I've got a family now. I haven't held a gun in 11 years. But you have the skill. Remember, we saw you a few days ago. I only did that because my daughter was in danger. Get him to do it. Look at his hand. I can still kill if I'm close enough. We're handing Mercier to you on a silver platter. When? The two of you will travel to Detroit tomorrow. Tomorrow? I have plans with my wife tomorrow. She can go to the reunion by herself. We do our homework. And since we are all capitalists here, there's $50,000 in it for you. No strings attached. You can keep your money. All I want is your word of honor, that this will be the only hit. You have my word.
Hey, you look great. Why do you have a suitcase packed? Because I have to go to Detroit this weekend. You've got to be joking. What about my reunion? I know, I'm sorry. They didn't give me any notice. There's some kind of a problem with the McKendry account. I thought you were off the McKendry account. I was. But uh, I have some problems with the stock options not going through. I don't know. If I don't go this weekend, we're going to lose the account. So when were you planning on telling me all of this? After Amanda went to bed tonight. <sighs> Look like I'm not mad. I know it's not your fault. I'm just disappointed. You know how long I've been looking forward to this? I wanted to show you off to all my old friends. I'm really sorry, honey. Look, if you just give me this weekend, I promise I'll make it up to you. Oh, look at that pretty picture. It's gonna be a mommy killer whale. Really? Should have known. I saw Greg leaving with a suitcase. Where's he going? Detroit. Honey, what about your reunion? Uh, no. Let me guess. Business trip? Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> Remember Bill, my first ex husband? He used to go on a lot of business trips. One day he came home, I checked his briefcase. Guess what? Completely empty. Not Greg. No, not Greg. He's one of the best. I'm just once bitten, twice shy. Shy? Not exactly. <laughs> hey, you got any coffee? raised his usual price, but I think the deal with humans will go down tonight anyway. Where's Messier? No sign of him yet, but he'll be there. He doesn't trust Diaz that much. It's just a few guards. Diaz has gotten lazy. Living in America does that too, huh? But don't you worry, there will be plenty of security tonight. Precision hit, limited access. It's not gonna be easy. You will have to get close. Hi, honey. It's me. I didn't want to bother you at the office. I just wanted to tell you that I'm sorry. And if there was any way I could have been there for you today, I would have. My appointment's here. Uh, I'll call you from the airport. Love you. You got it? 6 wire 238, Carswell Silence and the Three Clips, Black Talons. I asked for a Beretta. It's Alexa's choice. Then let Alexi do it. Next time I ask for something, you deliver exactly that or I take the next plane home. Are you forgetting something? You work for us. And you do as we say. Yes? I'll be there. Diaz has arrived. And Mercier may be in town already. I'll be back in an hour. This is not over.
Humans are here. Okay, gentlemen. Time to make some money. Keep your eyes open. Don't trust these guys. I trust that you brought the money in bearer bonds, as you requested. Where's your boss, Monsieur? He got stuck in L.A. Tu sabes. Business. But when you deal with me, you deal with him. I don't deal with flunkies, all right? You get your goddamn boss down here right now before I get angry! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hey, just relax, guys, relax. I always wanted to say that, you know, just like on the television. <laughs> Messier isn't here. Only Diaz. Where are the guns? Send them in. What the hell is this, huh? Going on a field trip? To the zoo, maybe? Cops check trucks. Not buses. So you could make it. Kill Diaz. You're a smart guy, Diaz. We'll send you guys some uh, Cuban cigars. You're legal here, you know. Makes them taste better, don't you think? State of the art. This is bullshit. Messier is supposed to be here. Well, he isn't. Do it. Thirty cases, ready for shipment. Our deal was for forty cases. Yes, but Customs is cracking down on us right now. When we say 40 cases, we mean 40 cases. Gregory, you have your orders, damn it. This time I am not joking. Shut up!
play with the big boys. Come on. Early. My lunch meeting canceled. Maybe we could get Stephanie to babysit Amanda. We could go to dinner tonight, huh? So you were gone when I got up this morning. I had an early conference with John and Tracy. I'll be right back. So, how did the uh, reunion go? I didn't go. Why not? Because I didn't want to go without you. I'm sorry, honey. I know how much it meant to you. Hello. It's for you. One out. That is not our arrangement. Be at the hotel in one hour. And don't be late. I did the job in Detroit. Diaz is dead. The fact that Messier wasn't there is not my fault. It may not be your fault. But it is your problem. What do you think the media would do if they found those photographs? Why should Messier have all the fun? Drugs, women, you name it. Well, your life is falling apart, and your brother, Sergei, is rotting in a Spanish grave unavenged. You gave me your word. It does not mean anything to you anymore. Not since I moved to L.A. Now, it so happens that Mercier has developed uh, an unhealthy heroin habit. He's having a party this afternoon, to which you, posing as a drug dealer, will attend. 
One of his party girls will be waiting for you. She will get you into the party. This afternoon? Yeah. All right. Hear me? What the hell have you been doing? Gardening. What's it look like? The front door is open and the window is broken. What is going on? I locked myself out. I had to break the window to get in the house. God, I left the door open. Sorry. Where's Amanda? Greg, it's Tuesday. She's at dance class. Right. Okay. That's it. What's it? I'm under a lot of pressure at work right now. I want you to take Amanda and go stay at Stephanie's dad's cabin in Arrowhead for a while. Will you do that? What are you talking about? We're not going anywhere. Do me a favor, will you? Listen to me, just, just this once. No, would you do me a favor? If you want to clear us out to turn our home into a love nest with another woman, don't give me some lame-ass excuse about work and pressure and all that garbage. Another woman. What are you talking about? I know why you went to Detroit. Oh, you do, do you? But if you're going to ruin what we have, I wish you just had the guts enough to do it to my face. OK. I will. I have kept some things from you. I was in the army. What does that have to do with it? It wasn't the American army. It was the Russian army. What? There's some men from my past. They want me to do something for them. If they don't get what they want, they might hurt you. They might even hurt Amanda. The police can't stop them. There's really only one thing that can. If there was ever a time I needed you to believe in me, honey, it's now. I trust you, Greg. But if anything happens to our daughter... I'm not gonna let anything happen to either one of you. Now, please, go pack your bags. I'll call Stephanie. I'll have her pick you up after work. Okay, but you have a lot of explaining to do. when she introduces you to Monsieur. What about the weapon? I'm sure there will be plenty of metal detectors. You are. She has parties. You will go in as her new supplier. So I get you in, and then I get the money. That's all I have to do, right? That's all. You like partying, Nick? I'm married, thanks. Who isn't?
So are these all Messier's friends? Guys like Mercier don't have friends. They have associates. You either have something that he wants to buy, or you want to buy something he's got to sell. And where do you fit in on that plan? Don't judge me, Nick. I've got something all men want to buy. I get you into this party, you give me the money. We're associates. Fair enough. Showtime, Nick. Hey, Johnny, how's it hanging? Well, I got you in. So where's my money? Where's Messier? Look, he's around someplace. He's always around. Yeah, well, I need an introduction. You see, there you go changing our relationship, Nick. We had a deal. Your deal was with Stroke. No Messier, no money. Well, then maybe we should look upstairs. Good choice. should be here somewhere. Hey, how you doing, Fawn? Hey. Who's your friend? Oh, this is Nick. You better be nice to him. He's one of Colonel Diaz's friends. This is Dominic, Mercedes' associate. I want a drink. Make yourself useful, huh? Sure. So, you're a friend of Colonel Diaz, huh? That's right. How come I've never seen you with him? Well, I like to keep a low profile. Diaz does too. About six feet low. <laughs> well, Messier won't mind if I uh, take care of deliveries from now on. We'll see. Come with me. So where's the boss? He'll want a sample. Show me the money. You know who the hell you're dealing with? You better be a hell of a lot faster than you look. <laughs> <laughs> you got some private stock. It's expensive. <laughs> I think I can afford it. Pure heroin. None better. Pure heroin. Pure horse shit? What are you trying to pull? I don't understand, my brother. He said it was the real stuff. Your brother? Well, screw your brother. You already screwed my brother. You don't remember him? Spain, the nerve gas shipment. Remember everything went bad at the last minute? Are you crazy? I, I don't your brother. Now you remember him? You blew his knees out just before he died. No! <laughs> ah! 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 ah!
Get out of the water, head into the park. Let's split up. Keep looking. think you are? You think you can come into our party, huh? Screw with me, kill my boss, then what? Run over here and play in the park? Well, screw you, asshole. Hurry! Police are on the way. family is fine. I could kill you now, and then find Stroke. You know me better than that. If you hurt me, they will die. That's better. What's the culture? Or so. 
If you hurt them in any way... Gregory, to hurt them now would be not only stupid, it would be un-American. I have one more task for you, one measly little task for you. We don't need a stadium built on public lands. What we need is more housing, better schools, and more parks. Chambers will be in Clarion Park tomorrow at noon before the rally to prepare for his uh, media circus. It's 200 yards, it's difficult, but for you, a piece of cake. You know, I love that American vernacular. Chambers is not a drug dealer. You don't have any past with him. Did I say I did? This is not about exposure, is it? This is about the stadium. Welcome to reality, Gregory. I now own the lion's share of a professional football team. We need a stadium for them to play in. It's as simple as that. Messier never, ever threatened you with exposure, then, did he? No. You were a gun runner with him. That's how you made the money to pay for the stadium, isn't it? That's why you wanted him killed, just in case somebody like uh, Chambers might look into your past. That's good, Greg. Good. You do not succeed in this country and business unless you step on some toes. And don't look so shocked. That's what I'm doing. I'm living the American dream. I don't think too many CEOs have murder on their resume. I have sunk $10 million into that stadium, into that team. I think that's very American, don't you? Now, do you think I'm going to see that all lost because of some loud mouthed politician who's looking for votes? No, I don't think so. And you are going to ensure that uh, that does not happen. Honey, we're okay so far, but please do what he says. Daddy, help us. I'm so scared. One condition. I'm listening. I see my family before I do the hit. You'll see them. And the moment I do it, you release them. Agreed? Why not? Strokem will be waiting for you at four this afternoon in the park. Don't keep him waiting. Go get some rest. What's our position? Brownfield Plaza Hotel. Our cover, elevator repairman. Security is a joke there. Virtually doesn't exist. What am I using? Remington. With Leopold scope. Subsonic ammunition. Personally, the radio bomb would have done it for me. And kill, uh, maybe a hundred innocent people instead of one? <laughs> What's the difference? This thing is too rushed. I don't like it. There's gonna be mistakes. It's going to be fine. Is that what you told my family? It's only 200 yards. I saw you do a mile. Not like this. I had more time. His car will arrive two hours before the rally at approximately 1100 hours. He'll go to the stage to check the preparations. The best shot will be before he reaches the podium. That's my department. What happens afterwards? The car will be waiting for us. Then what? That's my department. All right. It's gonna be okay, honey. Mom, Stephanie, she's in heaven. I'm so scared. It'll be okay. Daddy's gonna help us. Where's my family? Nearby. Today's? Copy. 
Condition red. Understood, Vanguard. Running red. Sun, ten minutes. Your problems will be over. Unless you miss. For our good and the betterment of all our families. We're not laying on a little thick. So far, you've been getting great press on the nightly news. People are looking for anything to take the blame for their problems. Television, guns, movies, sports stadiums. It'll get you votes. Okay. I'll say it. Three minutes, Vanguard. I want to see my family. Base? Copy. Daddy wants to say hi. Put him on. Where are they? Safe. All right, no more messing around. I see my family now or I walk, Alexi. Fair enough. The east side of the building. Look down. You'll see a blue van. about Amanda? Dad? Amanda, are you all right? I guess so. Mom says we'll be all right. And they will be too, as long as you follow instructions. I want to see her now. No, no, no. I do not show you both at the same time. I need to protect myself.
She's gonna be okay. Yeah. Well, whatever it is, it's over. It is over, isn't it? It is over, yes. Hmm. You think you can forgive me? I don't know, can I? Well, I know I have a lot of explaining to do. Maybe a whole day's worth? Hmm. I think you can start in the morning. You're my rain. 